everyone, I'm Gary and Bob, and today's video is a speed build video. I am on Sims 4 and I am going to be speed building a house inspired by Dil Houter, Dan Phil's game's character's uh, house. And so I wanted the layout to be a kind of space age sort of layout. Uh, like on a spaceship, uh, the overall cost was over three hundred thousand simoleons uh, for the house and the furniture. It's also got one bedroom, but you'll see in a second that you can put way more bedrooms in there. Uh, you can like change stuff around in there, and it's also available for download on the gallery by typing in my username gaming bob uh, on the origin id part so the i had a bit of problem with the layout uh, but i figured it out but i built this house a bit ago um and it worked all right and then i tried to rebuild it again and this is what this is the rebuild and it didn't work as well. So, so yeah. But uh, this is the kitchen. Uh, I wanted it to have like a warehouse feel. Like the counters were like handmade from a warehouse. And the, there's bricks and stuff on the walls. Uh, I've just realised the dining room is too big. So I'm going to bring it in a little. Um, and then I've put on, I've put two countertops on top of each other. So then the breakfast bar comes out into the room, but it's also still attached onto the kitchen. Uh, so yeah, I've just put the oven in there and I think the sink. But I wanted this room to be like ex like so much storage space. So I've put um, like big massive storage rooms in there, like for pantries, for food and things like that. Um, and I've put the sink in there, yeah. Uh, and we've got a middle countertop. Kind of um, and I think the the one square going around it, I think that looks quite nice. Because if we had two squares going around it, it'd be too big. But I think that that's a nice like workspace. And safety first, I've put a fire alarm in there and a sprinkler system. I've also put knives on the walls because I think that'd be quite cool next to the oven. And I've put a cluster of. Um, spatulas and things like that on the little kind of tops and a lot of neon signs and things like that um, to make it look better and lived in really and so I've just put in a little diner sort of like serviettes and ketchup and things like that for on the breakfast bar because I think that would be quite nice now I'm just doing the uh, the dining room, which leads on from the uh, front room, and I'm having a glass hedgehog table again. <laughs> if you watch uh, Dan and Phil games, you'll get that reference. Uh, and I've put colourful dining chairs and breakfast bar chairs in there because Phil said in one of the videos that he likes really colourful and mismatched chairs. I mean, so do I, but. <laughs> So I put, I put them in there uh, for them and then we've got two art pieces and then three coat of arms on the walls. I mean, why not? <laughs> I thought it'd be a very like um, video game sort of style house as well. I just put some more like miscellaneous objects on there. I'm going to rotate the bar around because I didn't think it worked. Right, so now I'm doing the actual bar area of the house, which is on the other side. Um, because Dil Halter uh, is training to be a mixologist. Is that the word? Yeah. And um, so, yeah, obviously it's got to have a bar in there. And again, it's different um, coloured seats. We've got two recipe books up there and two... Um, shelf alcohol shelves underneath them and then like wine bottles attached to the wall 
and we've, we're going to put two seats in there. Uh, now we're doing the hall. I've got some. I've got like a shelf for uh, shoes and things like that. I've got a coat rack and uh, yeah, I just painted the wall again, but I needed a better one because I didn't want it to be brown like that. Uh, so now I'm doing the second floor and the uh, and the um, the balconies. I really I like this house because um it matches with the uh, with the rest of the neighborhood if you'll see in a second but it's got balconies in it um but it's and it's got paneling for the uh for the exterior design but it's still like its own little house and it's got its own um owl slide as well Uh, I think this is the hardest I've ever worked on a roof. <laughs> uh, I love this roof though. Because of the um, the layout of the 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 center, like octagon, the uh, hexagon, uh, um, it, I managed to it managed to work really. And now we're working on the, um, what do you say, porch? I can't remember what it's called. And obviously there's going to be a pool in there. Um, and I like the pool design uh, on the floor. I tried to make it look like there's turtles like swimming around. Uh, and then I put two fish... Um, like fountain designs in there because one wouldn't be right it, it's not symmetrical and it needs to be symmetrical um, so yeah I've got a symmetrical swimming pool and now I'm just doing the exterior wall design and this is where the panelling comes in but I didn't know if I wanted brick at the first one and then panelling going up but I just stuck with like a dark panelling for the whole thing I think it looks really nice. Right, so now I'm just doing the gates as well. Um, I need to move them in a second though because uh, I didn't check where the door was, where the, the door entrance would be. So yeah, I'm just moving them now. <laughs> But I love the um, the blue and grey on the dark, um, like, grey sort of wall next area. And then I've got um, another one in the hall going outside to the back garden. And I've got a orange door from the dining room going outside to the back garden as well. Oh, that was my shoulder. <laughs> and I've just realised that the... Um, the upstairs was one brick off, so I just ended up redoing that one. Um, and I remember how uh, Phil was saying that he wanted like a um, a room um, that was like window wall sort of thing. So I did that for the whole of the front of the house, uh, front of the shape of the octagon. But yeah, things were kept going back into my inventory and I didn't understand this, so you'll see in this video of me just going back and replacing them again. But yeah, I've got a bookcase there and a desk and a little toy uh, lamp. And I think I put something else really cool in there. Obviously I needed to put a porcelain pig somewhere, but it was blocking the TV and I absolutely hate that when objects block the TV. So I just put it on the breakfast table. And I put a little toy robot on the on the uh, fireplace as well, because uh, I've seen in some Dan and Phil videos uh, they have the um, fireball on um, next to the fire, which Phil burnt. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just put that on there to like 
Uh, because obviously there wasn't any fire, um, fluffy teddies, toys. I don't know what it's called, sorry. <laughs> Uh, the only thing I don't like about The Sims 4 is you can't just delete floor. It has to be a separate room to delete. Um, and I don't like that because it takes a while. Uh, like You need to keep sorting it out again and it takes quite a while to do. So I've, I've gone for the um, other wall to hide the stairs again. Like downstairs. Um, and it's going to be the same going up all the way through the the stairway the halls and stuff. So this room basically just has the bedroom and the bathroom. I'm just going to be doing the bathroom in a second but I was trying to figure out how to make it uh, the door symmetrical to the room. So I just ended up putting one door in there which works but it still winds me up watching it. Because <laughs> it's not symmetrical. But yeah, it works because I ended up putting a laundry basket next to it. I love this bath, uh, this type of bathroom because everything's hidden. I've done. I've uh, the first time I've done this type of bathroom was Moonlight Bay, um, which was a bachelor pad. I've kind of took the idea and used it again here, but added different things in there as well. like um, cupboards for towels and things like that which you'll see in a second because I end up moving one of the um, the countertops and deleting them because um, I'd have to put two sinks in on either side because it wouldn't be symmetrical so yeah these are technically towel holders you know. <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just putting like miscellaneous things in there now uh, there's the waste. There's the uh, laundry basket. I'm also putting in some uh, dressing gowns uh, in case uh, Dale has a guest. I wanted the house to look lived in, so like objects, um, like body sprays and things like that. But I still wanted it to look nice. But I didn't want it to look like brand new or anything. I wanted it, yeah, to look lived in, to, like, with the floor mats and the bath mats and stuff like that. So now I'm doing the bedroom, which is, I love the bedroom. Uh, one side of the countertops is, uh, has, like, uh, is going to have, like, an old-fashioned typewriter, um, two old-fashioned cameras, and the other side is going to in a globe. And the other side is going to have like little teddy toys and photographs and things like that. There's the old teddies and toys. Right, so now I'm just finding other like objects to put around the house, like photographs and pitch like just anything that will look nice and make it look more lived in and things like that. And now I've just realised that there's a flaw in the in the plan um, of the f the fact that one of the walls connects to the outside. So whenever I paint that wall, it paints the outside as well. So that was quite <laughs> that was quite annoying. So if you're going to download it and you just want to change the walls, then remember that. Uh, this, I took the idea from... I used the idea from some supply. Um, it's to look like the it's opened. The, the dressing room is opened slightly. Uh, that's the glass doors. And then you've got the... Um, like formal clothes hung up there and shoe boxes and things like that and you've got mirrors and um, a couch as well and back in the front room at uh, the uh, bedroom sorry and then we've got the secret bookcase and other bookcases I was just showing you there that 
they're the same colour but it's just because of the light. Yeah, I've put um, tripod lights in there you like to represent the fact that Dan and Phil are YouTubers and use tripods I think to, <laughs> to you know, for the camera and stuff. Uh, they needed to be the same colour frame, so. Like, there's a lot of pictures. There's a picture of Hogwarts, and then there's a picture of the Polar Express, uh, not Polar Express, the Hogwarts Express next to it. <laughs> I mean, it's not actual pictures, but, you know, that's, that's, that's the idea. <laughs> and this is one of my favourite rooms as well. Um, this is a gaming room. Um, the secret door, bookcase door leads to a gaming room. Um, the it's this and then the gaming room leads to a, another gaming room. <laughs> but you can't actually like play games on it. There's no consoles in Sims 4 at the minute, apart from the mats. But yeah, you've got two um, gaming chairs, and then you've got loads of. Um, comic book, like first comic books and there's a map of Mordor and Middle Earth and things like that and then we've got strategic maps and like first edition books and things like that and then we've got some um, posters and pictures and we've got uh, plans, I was just trying to find ones that aren't really sporty so yeah we've got like just things like that to make it look like it's proper strategic I don't know why but and the, those um, those frames that I put up they're the keys to um, Final Fantasy is it? yeah because I thought that would be quite a cool thing to have in the gaming room and I've just put a map in there and then there's going to be a strobe light thing in there. Uh, this is a storage room specifically for uh, Dan. <laughs> there's the canvas um, like for the drying and storage and stuff like that. It just looked more like storage really. I put some shelves up um, using the free um, Thing using the free expansion pack and the shelves are there for uh, the little me sims the, the, the Wii ones uh, you know on Nintendo Wii yeah because I remember Dan saying he didn't like them the look of them so I, I got all of them and decided to put them in the the pantry the, the storeroom <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it just it seemed like a fun idea <laughs> uh, and then there's like scrolls and uh, tubes and secret scroll and then we've got empty canvases just to make it mo look more storagey we've got canisters we've got barrels we've got a whale flubber I have no idea why but there you go uh, it's just extra things to make it look like a storage room really And this room, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with, but um, I'm doing the lighting <laughs> in everywhere first to make sure that everywhere's like lit, really. <laughs> now I'm redoing the roof because I moved the um, the fl the wall one square. And I'm doing the rest of the. Uh, the rest of the house, which was a mistake to do last, really, because I, I, I end up moving a lot of things during the um, like during the showing of it. But it's basically I'm not added anything new into it or anything, uh, apart from a bin um, in the kitchen, just a metallic bin and also three recycling bins at the back of the house I'm just putting some chairs, uh, some chairs in there, some trees in there um, and just adding a little bit of dirt around the trees to make it look real and this, I was going to put a library in there, that was the plan but there were so many bookcases anyway 
I didn't want it to be too like too filled with books. So it's just basically um, a, a type of room where you can just go and do anything else really. You've got your easel for your canvases and you've got treadmill in case Dill doesn't want to interact with any humans, <laughs> any uh, sims. And then we've just got a workbench and things like that. But you can obviously, it, that's an extra spare bedroom really, but I didn't want to leave it like spare. We've got music um, on the piano so it can just go through the whole of the front of the house where that is. Because it's all open at the, that area. And then I'm just putting llama heads there and llama sculptures and everything like that. And there we have it. You can download it if you want on the gallery. It's over £300,000. Uh, you can also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below if you want to challenge me on any other video. Uh, any any other like speed build or anything like that. Like challenge on how much something would cost. Or how small you can make a house. Um, something like that and you can subscribe uh, to keep updated on when I upload speed videos. The next speed build video will be on a s Saturday. That's when I upload the speed build, uh, speed build videos. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and this is just basically me showing you around now. <laughs>